Uh, let's close out with this, the Ohio Bobcats. I cannot believe we don't talk to each other before we do any of this stuff. We just say, we're doing this. And, and then, then we, we show up it. with our own notes. And I, and can't, I cannot believe we both had this team exactly the same. Went 9-4 and four last year, went 6-2 and two in the conference, missed out on the MAC championship game again. It's been years since they've actually won this division. They got four starters returning on offense, seven on defense, Started three and three last year, but finished six and one in their last seven to go nine and four. Solich, 106 and 74 at Ohio. He's been there for 14 years. He's actually better in his 70s than he was in his 60s. I was just about to say, fifth 2014, they have just substantially gotten better and better yeah. and better. And so, every and even year. They, they only bring four guys back on offense, but one of those guys, senior quarterback Nathan Rourke. Leadership, uh, man. He fits Tim Aubin's weird flex option offense kind of thing perfectly. Uh, he may be the best player in the MAC. Oh, I think so. Um, I've, before now, we're doing this early June, but but from what we know about the teams coming back, unless there's some underclassman that's getting a start that we didn't see that was hidden behind death chart or a freshman that breaks out, I I don't know anybody that played a lot last year that's going to be better than him. Uh, you you're probably right. They, now, they lose a ton of experience at wide receiver and running back, but the offensive line, all upperclassmen. I'll, I'll take I'll it's, take a quarterback and an O-line. You know that. That's yeah. how you build teams. Those other guys, we can find them. Yeah. We can find them. Uh, figure they were it out. Number 64 in total defense last year. Uh, it was the weaker of the two units, obviously. I mean, the offense was but 64 in the nation out uh, in the MAC is not bad. That's not bad. They, they've also uh-huh. got seven starters back on defense, so – you're going to keep progressing there, and if you can keep the offense up around where it was, I think it was number 16 in total offense last year. You keep that offense up there. Uh, look, they went nine and four, six and two in the MAC last year. I got them ten and two this year, eight and zero in the MAC. I think exact, the schedule sets up exact perfectly. same record, eight and zero in the MAC, ten and two, and I really wanted to give them one of those non-conference upsets. I I think it, one of these MAC teams are going to do it. Like at Pitt, or so I've got them. If the only two losses I've right. got are at Pitt and at Louisiana, which yeah. it could easily be at Marshall, and they could win at Louisiana. At Louisiana, that's right. I think if they go in to Pitt and beat them, it wouldn't shock me. It just wouldn't, and that's not a knock on Pitt. These MAC teams going to other Midwestern towns and playing does not scare these guys. No, not in the it slightest. Just, it just doesn't. I, I think Pitt has more talent. Uh, Natural, I I come, but they're a just a different class of program. Being in uh, a bigger conference with you know that we talk about the money difference of the the Power Five and what they get. Yeah, it's just you can't. It's immeasurable how to define the difference in these smaller conferences and the bigger conferences. Yeah, the advantages the bigger conferences have, but it it doesn't stop a lot of these teams. I'll tell you this: I'll be interested to see what that line is come game time. Yeah, and I'll, and no, I'll probably have money on Ohio. It'd probably be betting on Solich. Yeah. Oh, Frank Solich is a legend. All right. Just so a legend. obviously we've got Ohio winning the division, uh, and we'll talk more about who wins the MAC, all that kind of stuff later on. Uh, we appreciate you checking us out. Share out the show. Tell your MAC buddies about it. Let us know what you think. We'll see you guys the next go round. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.